Hello again. Okay, so this week's vocabulary strategy is context clues, but more specifically antonyms. So we already know, based on our grammar, this is something that we do on a daily basis, we know that antonyms are basically the opposite of a word. So if you guys go ahead and take a look, it says when you read, it says model antonyms, when you read a word you do not know, one kind of context clue you can use is an antonym. What are antonyms? We should be very familiar with these. An antonym is a word or a phrase. A phrase means that it could be more than one word. That means the opposite of another word. Okay, so you guys should have already read your world up close um, a couple of times, two times at the minute at least. So as we read your world up close, you may find that you can you should have found that you can use antonyms to help you figure out the meanings of unfamiliar words. Okay, so as we read your world up close, we're going to find the meaning of the word huge by finding its antonym. We're going to highlight the antonym and then we're going to discuss and we're going to think aloud as to how we found it. So from your world up close, there's a, te there's a piece of text that we're going to look at. It says the sugar crystal on the left may look huge, but so right there, there is a little signal word. That means the opposite okay remember that's a conjunction that means the uh, it's gonna go ahead and say that's kind of like me saying you did your job perfectly well but there is a small little thing that I need you to fix so it's kind of telling me the opposite so the sugar crystal on the left may look huge but the word micro means small we are seeing a small part of the sugar crystal up close so, but the word micro means small. We are seeing a small part of the sugar crystal up close. So, this is my thinking. It says, when I reread the third paragraph of your world up close, I'm not sure what huge means, which I know that this is not, a, like, this is not the best example because we all know what the word huge means, but let's pretend we don't. I'm not sure what huge means. We can use the definition of the word micro or small to figure out what it is. Because remember that I told you that there's a little opposite word here, right? So we're going to highlight our antonym. So I highlighted that signal word that signals I'm going to be given an antonym. Okay. And then I can determine that the word huge, huge means large or big because here the antonym or the opposite meaning that they're giving me is the word small okay all right so micro and small are antonyms of huge the word huge must mean very big because again remember that we had that little keyword that was going to go ahead and show me the opposite of the word. Okay, so it says here, we're going to practice now. So his photograph showed that there is no such thing as a typical snowflake. Each is unique. So here they want us to find the word of the, the, the definition of the word unique. But remember, I'm using antonyms or I'm using the opposite. So when I go ahead and I use the opposite, Okay, that means that the word is not going to mean that. It's going to mean something else. So I know that the word typical, because it's one of my vocabulary words, means something that usually happens, something that you can expect. Like, it's typical for us to do grammar every day, right? Because we do gram our daily grammar on Monday, we do our daily grammar on Tuesday, and that's how we start our class. So... This is a, a piece of text from your world up close. It says, his photograph showed that there is no such thing as a typical snowflake. Okay, so I know that the word, I'm going to write my notes here. I know that the word typical means usual or something that always 
happens, okay? But I want the definition of unique. What does unique mean? That's what I'm looking for. So if I know it says his photograph showed that there is no such thing, that tells me that it doesn't exist. There is something that doesn't exist as a typical snowflake. So that means that there are no snowflakes that always happen or that are the same or that you can expect to be the same. So each is unique. So that tells me, since I'm doing antonyms, which is the opposite, that tells me that the word unique must mean, or the word unique might mean something that is not typical, meaning it is unusual or not expected, okay, or not expected. So that's kind of basically what antonyms are. And remember that you would need to go ahead and look for little keywords like, you know, the fanboys conjunction, but, however, um, yet is another one no such thing so you look for those little clues that signal that there's an antonym about to come up okay so if you guys need any further help with antonyms this should help you out um we're gonna go ahead and continue practicing it and i hope that this helps you guys out a little bit and if you need anything again you know where to find me love you guys